my office is just around here. I came for a business meeting. Uh, just leave it. Our work will be very simple. If you suspect your partner is cheating on you, just tell us about it. We give you a proof, you pay us. We're going after the side chicks. Yes. Get yeah, the bad ones. Yeah. We're, We're the, the good ones. Hey! Side, side chick. Yeah. Yeah. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Gee! Yeah. Condoms appear and disappear from his pocket. It's not as if he means the nice things he says. And that's the problem. Yeah. Why are you following me? Oh, yeah. who are you? Where are you from? I'm starting to enjoy being with him. I just want you to find out if they've broken up. Are you cheating on me? No, never. It will cost you 15000 <gasps> What do you think they do there? I think they find young girls for old men. I need your service. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't... You don't work for men? I know. You have to save me. Any amount you want, I'll pay. We will bring you down to Your libido in check. I've wanted you eh? ever since before I even put a ring on it. Ever since I set my eyes on you. Hmm? Well, this is reserved for you for the wedding night. It's not fun now. The date is set. But I'll be sure when the day comes, I will smash it. <laughs> As I have uh, imagined in my dreams many times. My <laughs> <laughs> feet. Um, soon to be. But it's really soon to be. What's the difference? <laughs> Honey, remember I'm going to Grandma's place today to prepare for the wedding. And I'm not going with me. Uh, why not? Ah. You can do all the preparations from here. I know, but I want to do it from the family house. Besides, it will make Grandma happy. Ah, if you insist. Besides, you'll have time to have fun, hang out with the boys. I'm giving you 30 days of freedom before you cut a jail. Because this jail is a jail you will never, ever be released from. Give me now. Uh -huh. I have 30 days of freedom. Of course. Yes! Hey! Don't be so happy yet. <clears throat> Just uh... You have to keep your libido in check. No sex. Are you saying that both of you sleep on the same bed? And yet it doesn't touch you? Not like it doesn't dry. But once I say stop, he stops. Ha! That guy must really be suffering in silence. Sir. Well, anyway. The wedding is around the corner. Very soon you start. To... Ah! <laughs> Enjoy Are you that. Just me? Please, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you heard Vincent is in the city. Yes, and he actually came to see me. What? Mm -hmm. You mean he came here? Yes. Shortly after I got back from youth service. What was Ayomide's reaction like? Uh, Ayomide was not here when he came. Thank God. Good for him. Uh, uh, uh. Good for him. Making him communicate. Trust me, no guy will be happy to have his fiancée's ex perching around her. 
Your Royal Highness, your king misses you. It's been over a week. I've not even set my eyes on you. It's good to miss each other now. It makes the love and attraction stronger, says the three wise men. If you say so. <laughs> Greet your grandmother for me, please. Ayo, why don't you call her and give your regards yourself? She said you haven't called her in over a month. Uh-huh. That's not true now. I spoke to her this past week. Really? Yeah. She must have forgotten. You know, her memory is not as retentive as it used to be. I guess so. I'll give her your regards. Thank you. Meanwhile, I have to tell you, I'm, uh, I'm going out with the boys tonight. Oh, OK. Well, do have fun, Captain, and my love to the boys. Thank you. Remember, no sex. Yeah, no sex. I mean it, Ayomide. No sex. Yeah, I'm serious too. You said no sex. Yeah, I heard you. <laughs> yeah. All right, then. Talk to you later. Bye. Yes, man. See this guy here? By this time next week, he'll be out of the market. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> free man. <laughs> he has committed enough. Nobody will miss him. <laughs> That's a better one. <laughs> I have a package for him. This night, courtesy horoscope lounge. Hmm. Oh. Guy, okay. you have to enjoy. You want to bring down the standard of this wedding, Abby? Would you advise a kemini? A locally made wedding gown? That it's locally made does not mean it's inferior. Carol, mm? please. You still can't compare it to the one that she was buying in Dubai. I mean, her guy is loaded, he's rich, and he's not complaining. Why settle for a cheap wear? 
I didn't tell you how your mother was buying my wedding dress, Amaka. <laughs> oh, I forgot my bad. Who have you been trying to call? You've been on that phone for as long as I can remember. I've been trying to reach Ayomide. He's not picking his calls. Is that why you're wearing such a long face? The guy probably had too much to drink and he's snoozing as we speak. That's the thing. Ayomide doesn't drink too much. He's quite moderate in everything he does. Um, is he also moderate in the other thing? <laughs> what other things? You girls are trying to spoil me. <laughs> you guys are trying to spoil me. <laughs> Well, two missed calls. Where have I been? Hello, my prince. I tried reaching you on your cell phone and it didn't go through. Guess your time out with the boys was awesome and you forgot your sunshine, huh? <laughs> anyway, I have to make an emergency trip to Dubai with my girls for some important shopping. I'll be away for a couple of days. Peter will be coming to pick up the invitation cards to distribute. Love you. Kisses and hugs. days. Hmm, who knows? Maybe even weeks. No. We didn't discuss price though. I don't know. Anything he gives me. I accept. <laughs> See, I'm not doing this for the money. This guy, I like him. <laughs> I mean, I go, Joe. You took like, you took like money. Uh-uh. <laughs> hey. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Mm. Made you breakfast. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. I am not a good cook, but I'm not a bad one either. And you even put chewing gum. Oh. Okay. How to treat a lady and your your mind is so pure mm. you're like mm. lucifer mm. before he fell from heaven when he was still a glorious angel okay whoa <laughs> what what a compliment <laughs> i hope i don't wake up tomorrow and realize i'm falling <laughs> that's why you need me by your side always mm. and i promise i'll never let you fall thank you This looks like a pen, um, but it's not actually a pen. It's a, a spy camera, all right? Spy once, camera? Yeah. Once you press and hold, you, you see the light is indicating it's recording all of us. Take it. 
plant it in his bedroom. I want the next sex table for us. And the, before you go, I know you like fruit, so let me banana you. <laughs> sure. You can never say no. <laughs> yeah, give it, give it. Yeah, to the right. Two weeks time. <clears throat> what? So how come you kept me here, showing me love and pretending like you cared about me? <laughs> Wait, where's where's this coming from? You you, should, you knew before we started hanging out now. Oh wait, Chooks didn't tell you. Let me tell you what Chooks told me. Chuk said that you are going to be lonely and you're in search of love. <laughs> it was just a bit shady. He, him saying that I was going to be lonely and we'll be in need of love is it's, it's another way of him saying that I'm getting married and I'm going to need lots of, you know, sex, you know, before I you know, going to the old time because afterwards there's no more, you know, hanky panky. See, I'm you, sorry. You mean? You misunderstood. It was all about sex. Do you know how much I sacrificed for you? What are you? What are you talking about? You won't understand. Then make me understand. Like that's going to change your mind. Is that going to change your mind? I didn't think so. This is a terrible misunderstanding. Look, I promise I will pay you. I will compensate you for all the time that you've spent generously. May you perish with your money. And may your little man take a very long bow at the sight of a pussy. Just get out. wrong with you? You what? You are telling me you are You are sorry? Ah! What are you telling me? Ah! What are you telling me? You are sorry? What the fuck are you sorry about? He, he could have given me everything. Everything I, I ask of him. Just to prevent that video from appearing on the internet. But what did you do? Simple instruction. Plant the bug in his room. You messed up. Huh? But what the fuck is wrong with you? He would have made me a big boy, I would have stepped up. What what should I do to you? What? What should I? What should I do to you? What? What should I do to you? What should I do? Forgive you! Forgive you! What the fuck is wrong with you?
Hello. It's me, Stella. I was thinking about our conversation in the morning, and I simply can get you off my mind. <clears throat> uh, can, can we discuss this at the resumption of business on Monday? You forgot we usually have our conversations late at night. The part you ask me what I'm wearing is usually the most interesting part of our night conversation. I'm sorry, I, I do not discuss <clears throat> official matters at this hour. She's there, right? Well, I just wanted to let you know that this time I'm wearing nothing. Just naked. I, I, I will sign the, the documents when I get to work. Thank you. Good night. My office is just around here. I came for a business meeting. Uh, just leave it. Our work will be very simple. If you suspect your partner is cheating on you, just tell us about it. We give you a proof, you pay us. We're going after the side chicks. Yes. Get yeah, the bad ones. Yeah. We're, We're gonna go. Hey! Side, side chick. chick. Yeah. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Jeez. Condoms appear and disappear from his pocket. It's not as if he means the nice things he says. And that's the problem. Yeah. Why are you following me? Oh, yeah. who are you? <laughs> like, where are you now? I'm starting to enjoy being with him. I just want you to find out if they've broken up. Are you cheating on me? No, never. It will cost you 15000 <gasps> What do you think they do there? I think they find young girls for old men. I need your service. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't. You don't work for men? I know. You have to save me. Any amount you want, I'll pay. We will bring you down to my feet. 